Hey, welcome back to Overhead Athletics. Going on the ACL series here with my good buddy, Brian. Brian and I wrestled in high school. He went on much higher in the sport. Just finished up, how many years at Tiffin? Six. Six years at Tiffin. Going through all that wrestling, he encountered numerous injuries that he had to work through, one of which was ACL. He had an ACL surgery about eight, nine days ago with the meniscal repair. And we're kind of in those very early phases of rehabilitation, just showing you a peek of what we do with some ACLs here. So we've got a blood flow restriction cuff on him. We're doing a little bit of BFR. We're at 80% occlusion pressure. So we use the Doppler, found out what 100% occlusion is. And we like this because it can help us maintain muscle mass and actually potentially stimulate the muscle a little bit different way with a little metabolic demand. So we got him at 80% occlusion pressure. He's doing some quad sets here with not prolonged holds, but just one to two second contractions. He's gonna go through that 30, 15, 15, 15 rep scheme with 30 seconds rest. So there's his quad set. You can see he's got some good muscular development and you should have seen this guy in high school did not have good muscular development. That's what a college strength and conditioning program will do to you. But we're just working through just activating the quad. You know, he doesn't have a CPM at home, hasn't been doing a ton of exercise, been doing a little bit of quad set here and there, a little bit of straight leg raise, but we like to enhance that a little bit with blood flow restriction training. So we're kind of on his last quad set here and then we'll move into some short arc quad. We'll show you just a sneak peek of that. And then we'll show you a little bit of how we actually start to train the hips in a little bit more of an intense fashion, as well as how we're gonna to start to get range of motion back for him. And some things he's gonna work on for that as well. The biggest thing is trying to pump the joint with as much movement and as much contraction in the surrounding musculature as you can early on in the stages of rehabilitation. So we keep the occlusion pressure on. Now he's got a ball under the, the leg here and we're gonna do short arc quads. So very simple exercises, but we're increasing the demand by having him do it here with a cuff on. He's still non-weight bearing. He's still in his brace outside of therapy. And we have to make sure we're keeping our loads very, very low. So some just really light amounts of load here, just the body weight, starting to utilize that knee and those quad muscles. I also like for at home, some hamstring sets. So kind of in the same position, but curling your heel into the ground a little bit. So we'll have him run through that scheme there. And then once we kind of get done with this, we'll go into some straight leg raises, which everybody knows, just laying on the back, lifting that leg to about 30, 40 degrees for the same rep scheme. And then we'll have him flip to his side and we'll start to work the hip abductors a little bit there. So trying to get a little more knee flexion here in Brian's life. He's using the belt to just give him a little assistance into knee flexion. Nice sliding surface here. That could be your hardwood floor. That could be something that just allows your heel to slide a little bit. These are heel slides. He's using a little bit of his hamstring to try to pull but he's using the belt to really help him get into a little more flexion. And he probably had like 20 degrees of flexion when he started this. So you can see he's already improving a little bit. And this is something he's gonna do periodically throughout the day, working up to that 90 degrees of flexion. It's mainly a passive activity. There's a little bit of an active assisted component. He starts the motion with a little bit of hamstring curl, but it's mainly a belt activity to try to bend that leg. And he just does it throughout the day to try to get a little more knee flexion. You can see he's got great knee extension. That's working in his favor. I'm just trying to, influence this knee to bend a little bit more. One of the big things would be once he starts walking, it'd be much easier for him to start to get some knee flexion. And we'll get him on the bike just doing some really light pedaling as well. So now starting to work those hip abductors, we can do this with the knee still without any load on it really at all. And he's doing a glute 45 side lying. So he's going on a 45 degree posterior, starting to work these hip abductors, get as much strength in there as you can. And Brian's a big, strong guy, college wrestler, stud, but he can tell you how difficult this is. So if this is too difficult, you just do a few reps or you just attempt to lift up a little bit. Brian's going through the full excursion or the full range of motion, which is really good. And he's coming back and up on an angle. He's actually doing a really nice technique here. This is one he's gonna do between 30 and 40 reps a day just to keep these hip muscles turned on. Because he's using that other hip quite a bit when he uses his crutching. But these muscles, we don't want them to atrophy. We don't want to have to retrain these muscles in five weeks when he's doing more dynamic activities. We want to keep as much strength and muscle mass here on the outside of the hip as we potentially can. And so him doing 30 to 40 reps a day is just adding a little bit of load, giving these muscles a little bit of stimulus so they don't atrophy and shrink over the course of the next uh, few weeks when he can't load them as much. And I don't even have the BFR cuff pump up here but if I wanted to increase the intensity of the exercise I'll pump them back up because we do see proximal gains from the BFR as well so if you have BFR or access to it this is a great little way to start to train some of the hip muscles early on in therapy.
So you can maintain this strength, get some gluteal strength at the same time you're starting to recondition this knee. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want me to black out Brian's face if he's in a future video, let me know in the comment section below. We'll see you guys soon.